Okay. Uh, welcome. Um, we are going to start real quick with giving you um, just kind of a quick rundown of how an audition works. How many of you have auditioned before? Yeah? Okay. Do you audition from home? Do you audition in person? Home. Home. Okay. It goes both ways. A lot of times now, we are all auditioning uh, from, from our own homes with our own setups, but there are certain things that still apply whether you're uh, at home by yourself or in front of other people. The first thing that you're always going to do when you get up and you go to the mic, uh, after, you, after you look over your copy, is you're going to... Um, Uh, is you're going to slate. You guys know what slate means? Okay. Slating is when you get up to the mic, you state your name and the character that you're reading. That's it. That's it. Don't say, hi don't, don't say hi. Just don't say anything else. Don't say, I'm really nervous. Don't say anything else. Be a pro. Walk up. I'm Cindy Robinson, and I'm reading for Sakura. Or, Cindy Robinson, Sakura. Ooh. That is actually the way you're going to do it. That last one is... You're going to slate in character. Because that is the first time your adjudicator hears what you sound like. You don't want to have the, the first thing they hear be somebody completely different because already they're starting to make their decision. They're going to hear your voice and go, ooh, I don't know if this person can actually do the voice that we need them to do. Especially so right now, out of the gate, you want to say, yes, I am that person, and I can do the voice you need me to do. Especially now, uh, they're going for a much more realistic sound in a lot of these shows, and so they want it to sound like your natural voice. Nobody really sounds like that, but they don't need to know that. Actually, they're too. Well, they're, they're two people, people to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we don't want to give them any, any reason to doubt you. Okay, so you slate in character with no extra garbage going on top of it. Part of the reason for that too, if I may interject, is the person listening to these auditions is going to listen to maybe a couple hundred. And so you may, you may be somewhere in the middle or somewhere toward the end, and if they've already listened to 150 people going, hi there, my name is so and so, I hope you're having a great day, I'm going to audition for the role of, it's like, they know what you're there to do. They just want to know who you are and the, role, the name of the role that you're reading for so that they can just get into it as soon as possible. If you're like, hi there, my name is, bye. You don't even get listened to. You want to do everything you can to make sure that you actually get listened to. You literally have five seconds for them to decide whether or not you're going to hear your audition. Because they know. They know immediately. You, they press play and they're like, this isn't the right voice. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. And they'll, they'll literally just shove it aside. And he's not kidding. Hundreds of people audition for these things. And, and if you're a newbie, if you're coming in and, and, and this is, you know, you're just starting to get into in the business, they already have names that they know. So they're looking at it going, okay, they're already sizing it up. And they're already saying, uh, my top five right now are... Chris, Kari, uh, Kate, Cindy, uh, Matt Mercer, uh, Troy Baker. Okay, I know that these people can already handle every role that I need to have cast right now. You have to let them know why you're the person that should bump out those other people. Right? Right. Okay, so that's really important. And the way to do that is with confidence. Confidence in knowing what you're doing. Here's another thing that you don't want to do. You don't want to start your audition and then go, oh, yeah, okay, hang on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right, I'm going to start. That's for an in-person one. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't make excuses. If you flub a line, flub a line. Take a quick pause and then start again. Not from the beginning, from there. Or from the top of that line, okay? So again, don't give them any reason to not trust you, because that's super, super important. Um, what else do you have? I mean, that's, that's right off the top of my head. Then we can then we can see as we go. Yeah, that's that, that pretty much 
covers audition etiquette. Okay. Um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to have you guys line up over against that wall, and we're going to have ten at a time come, pick a script, and then have a seat right here in this front row, yep. and then you'll go one at a time in order. The scripts that we are working with today are from Digimon, <laughs> Tiger and Bunny, Psychopath, and Future Diary. So there's one show on each of the chairs. The script, there's one copy of each character. So go through here, find a character that you'd like to do, take your, take your character, and then go sit over there. And then we're going to need you to put those copies back after you're done reading. Because like I said, we only have one. Yeah. And uh, from what it looks like right now, uh, based on how many people are here, we may have enough time to go through two times. So you could do two different characters if we have enough time. One is guaranteed for sure, but, um, but if we have enough time, then we'll do it twice. Yeah, and we'll have time to give you some redirects. So while you're up here, even if you're only up at the mic once, you probably get to read it twice. Yeah. Um, only read for one character at a time. Yes. Please. Don't do both characters on the page. That would confuse us. You are, you are really wonderful, and that's a wonderful trait to have. You would never do that in an audition. Don't read with yourself in different voices. Right. I don't care how good you are. Okay? One at a time. Uh, why don't you guys line up over there, and we'll get this show started. Yeah, we're going to Woo! Wait for us. Oh, sorry.